A movie stunt car goes off a cliff at a speed of 20 meters per second. A 30 meter wide ravine follows the cliff before the road continues, some 15 meters below. Will the stunt car make it across the ravine? Justify your answer. So it's a good old justification problem. Let's see how we can solve this. So we have a cliff and we have another cliff where the road continues. The car is here. The stunt car goes off the cliff like so and lands over there. We want to find out what is or will it make it across this ravine which is 30.0 meters long. We know that the distance that it has to go down would be um, according to the problem 15 meters below and this is in the negative direction. This is your delta y. Okay? And the car was going off at a velocity of 20.0 meters per second. And we want to find out, so this is given, required would be whether delta x is greater than 30.0 meters. Why is it greater than? If it's equal to 30 meters, it will just hit the edge. It could still flop. It could still go down. Therefore, it has to exceed 30 meters. Your delta x must exceed 30 meters in order to make it across. So you're solving for delta x. Take note, you aren't given delta x. You're trying to solve for delta x and then comparing it with 30 meters. Okay? So given these, let's put our equation in. So again, we can use the simple equation. T is equal to square root of 2 delta y over a and we can also use delta x is equal to vit to solve let's use our two punch solution first we get the time 2 delta y over a okay delta y negative 15 meters and negative 9.8 meters per second squared at the bottom so when we plug that into our calculator, okay, so that's square root of 2 times negative 15 all over negative 9.8 gives me the value of 1.7496. Okay, so let's get this value. So that's equal to 1.7496. 5 seconds, but we'll still use the exact value when computing. So let's go on to part 2. Part 2 now involves me getting delta x. Delta x is equal to vi times t. Okay, we know vi to be given as 20 meters per second. And we just solve for t, 1.75 seconds. Okay, the seconds will cancel out which will then give you meters, but let's solve. So this one times 20 gives me the value of 34.99. So 34.99 meters. Okay, so what's the answer? Well, in the answer, 34.99 meters is your delta x, and we have to compare it with 30. And 30 meters being here is 30 meters less than 34.99. Well, the answer is a resounding yes. Therefore, we made it. Yay! Okay, so I hope this short video enlightened you on the process of solving problems involving projectile motion in the horizontal. Just two easy steps. Get the time and then solve for whatever you're being asked for in the x direction. So take care, everybody.